his new banger. Ren. Hello everyone, welcome back to google.com forward slash youtube.com's best website, my channel, the Noah Sampson channel. I'm here filming at a historical site, it's the Yellow Brick Wall. Um, they took the Yellow Brick Road and they could have sort of flipped it in a direction to make it a wall wow. in solidarity with Berlin. It's all fun and games till they, they flip your shit up. You read the title correctly, Red Pill TikToks. That's what we're looking at today, everybody. You might be asking, Noah, how did you come up with such a groundbreaking and original piece of investigative journalism on a topic no one's ever talked about on YouTube? Alpha Male Podcast, how did you even dig up this type of crap? What are you, some kind of journalist freak? And, well, that's a great question, dear viewer. I got this idea by searching Red Pill on TikTok and clicking on the first 10 videos. I did this because, uh, to be honest, I need to post a video for a sponsor, and my psyche is tethered to the machinations of capitalism. I just can't say no. I'm a bad person, okay? But so are the guys that we're looking at today. They're bad and they're weird, and that's okay, because we get to make fun of them, and it's a goof, fun goof time. Girls are gonna have sex with any guy they want to. You're supposed to have sex with him whenever he says. Women simply just don't care. You care too much about the bitch. The fuck? For some reason, half of these videos start with workout footage with a text overlay. This one says, The cold reality men need to accept when dating a woman. And this guy is doing seated dumbbell shoulder presses. His form looks fine. It looks good. Great job, man. But cold reality. Let's hear it. I'm ready. I'm ready for this splash of ice. Harden my nips up, Mr. Red Pill Man. They're gonna be so hard, they're gonna turn into their own little pill-shaped nipples. The nip pill. The nipple. Nip hell. Thank you for your time. For spending it with me they pay me to do this when the fucking fake social is wearing an arthritis or arctics or however the fuck you say it jacket dude yeah cancel this man fucked up rapture comes don't say we didn't deserve it okay youtubers are real we exist two things if you getting with a chick and y'all in a relationship if she cannot submit to you and the things that you want her to do, she's not for you. Um, you know what? Why don't we just let's 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 do the sponsor thing now? I'm gonna just I'm gonna do the ad read so we can have a breather because it's it's dipping it. Hundred people to sign up using the link in the description will get ten extra trees planted in their name. Your name, like the anime. All right, thank you, Ren. Now let's get back into some pain and suffering. If she cannot submit to you and the things that you want her to do, she's not for you. Submission. Uh, so that's setting up a, a bit of a sort of, shall we call it, an unhealthy relationship dynamic. Submission requires an imbalance of power or a restriction of agency of one party and that's that's not great you know we don't love to we don't love to see that <laughs> setting up a relationship on an uneven coercive foundation nah. but let's hear him out let's see where he goes with this i'm sure it'll be totally fine example number one if you tell her if you want to make this more exclusive baby girl no male friends no male friends me no big bro no best friend what <laughs> fellas if your girlfriend has an older brother and she's talking to her older brother, she's cheating on you. That's right, dude. No brothers allowed, dude. I love this. I did not realize that you could be this fucking insecure. Like, I did not realize that you are... Physically capable of hitting this level of insecurity. I respect that. No Tommy, no Jerry, none of it. No Tommy, no Jerry. Tom and Tom and Jerry. You're talking about the car animated cartoon Tom and Jerry? Did did your girlfriend leave you for Tom and Jerry? Did you walk in on your ex masturbating to the t Warner Brothers cartoon of a rival cat and mouse? Honestly, join the club. Okay. Countless marriages have been ruined by that one single clip of Tom the cat smoking that fat sinky joint with a, with a pistol. And at some point, you're just going to have to come to terms with that and move on. Okay. Lord knows I've had to do that. Those critters have sent me to the divorce courts four separate times. Yeah, I haven't told you guys, but I'm a quadruple divorcee. And yeah, I'm still a bad bitch. You don't see me moping around in the MGTOW forums because of it. That's just life, baby. No Tommy, no Jerry. If she doesn't comply with that energy, she's for the streets. I love that. I fucking love that, dude.
I love letting these dudes do their own thing. Because they make such profound content. Like, how are you going to arrive in that endless fucking need to try to, like, one-up other content creators? Dudes will literally arrive at some of the most insane fucking conclusions, and this is one of them, and I really respect it. She's not for you. Either she could be for you, or she could be for the streets. It's all depending on who she is inside, who her, what her DNA is going to tell her. My DNA told me to have sex with an animated mouse because he dropped an anvil on his best friend's head. Evolutionary biology 101, baby. Creation is destroyed with w this one simple truth. Okay, but obviously there's some problematic stuff going on here, so why don't we take a second to engage and break it down for any resident red pillars or black pillars in the audience. The issue with this guy's prescriptions here is that he's advocating for incredibly controlling behavior founded on insecurities. Now, are there situations where male friends try and end up swooping in on a relationship and are concerns about infidelity with male friends sometimes valid? Yeah, of course they are. We can acknowledge that this is something that happens without making blanket statements about the lingering potential infidelity of every single woman on earth. And without setting up double standards about which partner ought to have license in the relationship to banish the other person's friendships into the shadow realm for fear that they just cannot control their sexual desires. What I hear when I hear him say this is, I was hurt in the past and now I'm projecting it onto my audience. I also hear because of the pain from the past and my inability or unwillingness to come to terms with it, I do not trust women enough to be able to evaluate their own relationships with other people and how they might conflict with our own. And I think all the men watching me should also think like that if they don't already. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, man, this guy oh, no. should just go to therapy. Go to therapy. And you would not be wrong to think that. I happen to agree. But what I've also seen lately is how telling men or men like this to just go to therapy, that can be counterproductive. They're usually not receptive to that because statements like that are just kind of played out, I guess. Again, they're true objectively, but just comes off as like a default response, right? Little dismissive, little condescending, not to mention the accessibility portion of therapy, how it's expensive, how it might not be available in wherever people are at. So my healthy boys only solution here is to just try to communicate with your partner. If you have insecurities or suspicions about the motivations of someone in your partner's life, it can't hurt to just talk to them about that. It's definitely not an easy thing to no. do, but bottling up your feelings and no. not talking about them can only make things worse, especially if that results in you. Never talk to your partner. Never communicate. Fellas, it's gay to talk to women. And also bad. Okay? Yeah, I just wanted to specify that a gay equals bad in this argument that I'm making. You taking it out on someone that doesn't deserve it, I feel like that's like fairly common. And if in the case that you do end up getting cheated on, um, that's really fucked up. But the truth is, sometimes people just cheat on people and it's fucked up. And you can't use those individual instances to just like paint an entire gender as being inherently biologically predisposed to act in sus, you know? Because if we did that for everyone, then every gender on the planet would be permanently branded as cheaters. And as we all know, once a cheater, always a cheater. So then everyone, everything, everywhere, all the time is everyone cheating and sucking and fucking. And it just becomes a mess and the earth is a hellhole even more than it already is. Okay, healthy boys rant over. Let's finish this clip. I'm gonna tell y'all this right now, fellas. Some women just can't give up the male attention. No, some women just can't give up the big bro because the big bro imprinted her. What? Sorry, what did he say? He said imprinted? Is that what I think? Does he mean like we're... Man. Um, okay. I hate writing out just like a long, heartfelt message about how, like, empathizing with someone's, like, opinions and then they turn out to be an absolute hobgoblin. The big bro imprinted her. Life is pain, mean? let's just move on. Never talk about these three things when with a woman. Your shortcomings in life. The reason being, women simply just don't care. They will just happily wait. In Dude, is there a fucking red pill video out there that isn't just one gigantic self-report? Dude, literally every fucking relationship is supposed to be based around mutual respect. Okay? It's a partnership. Okay? It is a partnership. We're supposed to respect one another. 
If you do not respect your partner, you are not going to have a healthy relationship. Homie is so deeply insecure about his, about his situation that he's telling you that like women, as a self-report most likely, because of probably his insecurities or because of his own personal experiences with like one bad relationship, if he actually had one, he is claiming that you should not tell your partner about your issues. Why the fuck are you in a relationship then? What the fuck is that about? Hit the finish line and whoever is the winner gets to go. Oh my God, I hate this. I hate it so much. I really hate it. Dude, stop projecting onto your audiences from your past bad experiences with women challenge, difficulty level, impossible, difficulty level, legendary, through the fire and flames on expert round 99, Nocturne Toten type beat. Yeah! <laughs> Sometimes you throw in cultural references to get comments and engagements and you say, thank you. Thank you so much. To society. Women don't necessarily appreciate the journey we may have had to take to get to where we are. And this is because women expect us to be the backbone and to be strong. Okay, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm on my empathy arc. I Let me just briefly engage with the marketplace of ideas on this one. I'll make it quick. It is absolutely true that society, which does include women, by the way, based society, society holds expectations of men to be strong and to be the backbone and to keep our emotions and insecurities inside. Many men feel this way. Um, like, for example, this dude here. And many women also feel this way or implicitly reinforce it in their actions. It's actually a construction of the, um, uh, red pillars, cover your ears, the patriarchy. Oh, brother, this guy cool. stinks! That we should all be fighting to dismantle. In Bell Hooks, The Will to Change, Men, right. Masculinity, and Love, she addresses how this social construction affects all of us, writing, Yeah, we're on bread tube mode, baby, including written citations and crap. The reality is that men are hurting and that the whole culture responds to them by saying, please do not tell us what you feel. If we cannot heal what we cannot feel by supporting patriarchal culture that socializes men to deny feelings, we doom them to live in states of emotion emotional numbness. We construct a culture where male pain can have no voice, where male hurt cannot be named or healed. Just like a brief interjection from me, not Bell Hooks, is the reason why basically the most mainstream and popular place where masculinity and stuff is being discussed is in the manosphere. And that's really bad because there's a lot of bad stuff going on over there, you know? So I'm glad there's a lot of good content coming out, like critiquing it and being specific because maybe there's a new niche of content that we can all start up, which is cool guys being dudes. All right, back to the hooks. It is not just men who do not take their pain seriously. Most women do not want to deal with male pain if it interferes with the satisfaction of female desire. When feminist movements led to men's liberation, including male exploration of feelings, some women mocked male emotional expression with the same disgust and and contempt as sexist men, despite all the expressed feminist longing for men of feeling. When men work to get in touch with feelings, no one really wanted- Oh, dude. Oh, my God. <clears throat> Women that fucking ride or die for the patriarchy are some of its most loyal fucking soldiers. I mean, not to be the, the based misogynist here once again, but, like, it kind of is true. You, you literally- I mean, look, dude, dude, dude. Uh, here's a great example of this, okay, for those of you who don't know. The media presents uh, the abortion issue oftentimes as one where men are controlling women's bodies. And that is true because, uh, the, uh, because Congress is overwhelmingly men, right? White men specifically. So you think, oh man, Congress is the one making the decisions. That's certainly true. However, if you look at it at the street level, the overwhelming majority of uh, anti-abortion activists are women. 60% of the anti-abortion activists are literally just conservative women. Straight up. Women fucking ride or die for the patriarchy like chatters who ride or die for the top of the hour ad break. Okay? Live by the sword, you die by the sword. You live by the top of the hour ad break, you die by it. But fear not, there is a way to maybe not abolish the patriarchy, but abolish the top of the hour ad breaks impact on your life. Which is by subscribing for $5 or for free with a Twitch Prime or by getting gifted a sub like one from Edgar or SMAX10 who just gifted 10. Thank you. That is one way to avoid the ads at the top of the hour every hour. Here's the one-minute break now.
wanted to reward them. So super long ass quote, but I feel like it's pretty relevant to the notion that men are expected to deal with their problems in a certain way that uh, keeps it all inside, you know? And so but men get blamed, lol? No, because men are still, of course, like I mentioned, overwhelmingly men are the people in Congress that are passing this legislation or in positions of power that are that are creating hurdles for women to stop women from getting uh, abortions. So we can acknowledge all of this while also being absolutely clear that it's not good. It's not a good Valerie, situation thank you for the tank that subs. we just went over. And so operating within this system. Sonny, Chris, thank you for the five good subs. Why are men so fucking fragile, bro? Chill, dude. Be a man, okay? Stop being a fucking little baby. Stop being a pussy. Be a fucking man, okay? God damn. It's so like, yeah, forgive me for using like, uh, you know, old school reinforced gender norms or whatever, but like be a fucking man, okay? Stop fucking bitching and complaining and crying about every little thing. Oh my God, I'm so upset. Men are getting blamed. I'm sure that person wasn't that serious about the subject matter overall. Tyler4GR, thank you for the take of the subs. Uh, but it, 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 it is something that you see. These fucking manosphere dickheads all the time crying about fucking how women are and how society is organized in a way where like the sexual marketplace is hurting them it's like be a man simple solution okay be a man bitch um maybe grow up instead of be a man no i like saying that i'm gonna keep saying that sack up nut up or shut up dude fuck Cannabis majoris, they give it the five, get the subs. Worst angle for this take? What do you mean? I, I don't understand. system based on the norms of the you know what he means lol no i i actually don't know what he means system that should not be encouraged we should try to unlearn these notions and fight against them and one way for men to do this is to be more open to the idea of talking about and sharing their feelings and insecurities that's why it's so frustrating to see messages like the one that this dude is putting out you guys saying be a man this is basically fighting fire with fire yeah um, I'm a bad person. I'm a misogynistic person and I'm hypocritical. Welcome to my broadcast. Always. You, you, I thought you knew that already. That's why I'm a more effective speaker than you because they will never listen to you. Sorry. It's just the truth. No fucking red pilled, uh, uh weirdo is ever going to listen to someone who's like, wow, I can't believe you used that. You're currently recontextualizing uh, a, a male-centered language that is a product of the patriarchy while seeking to dismantle it, supposedly. You're hypocritical. Shut up. You're a fucking nerd. You read too many books. No one is going to listen to you. No normal person is going to be like, wow, that person is bringing up a profound point of view. The only people that say that are already people that are on your side. Okay? You know what I mean? No one, no one is going to be like, the only people that will, will say, wow, you're so brave for that take are people that are in your fucking gender studies class, the male feminists that want to fuck you, okay? And that's why they're acting like they believe what you're saying. Anyway. gain so much traction never talk about these three things when with a woman because despite being presented as advice it's just actively harming both men and women so the moral of the story is that patriarchy is bad <laughs> misogyny's cringe yo get it out get rid of it if anyone wants to l figure out how to do this dm me ladies dm me <laughs> don't do that please they're closed the dms are closed well that's about enough virtue signaling for today. I think I'm going to kick my feet up and retire to my study. All right, that's all the empathy that I have left in my body. Goof off mode, 
activated. Gossiping or talking badly about other people. Doing this is just simply insecure and girls will try to get this out of you. But instead, if she talks about another guy, compliment him and say how cool he is. Doing this- Dude, that's so funny. It's like, this dude is accidentally arriving at being a nice person. I love that. Like, homie's out here being like, fake being a nice person. Don't be a meanie. That's cool. Like, arriving at... Arriving at confidence by faking it is fucking dope. Sick. This, rather than talking badly, will show high self-esteem. This is such strange advice because it's like, yeah, don't just, like, gossip about someone because you think someone wants you to gossip with them. But also, if someone's being an asshole, you should be allowed to be like, yeah, that guy's being an asshole, kind of. Babe, in history class, we're learning all about World War II, and I gotta say, that Hitler guy, he was a real piece of work. You know, honestly, I don't fuck with your toxic energy, okay? The guy... He Men are encouraged to not express fear with the phrase man up, don't be a puss, it's not okay, fear is a genuine human emotion, not emasculating. Yeah, but I'm not talking about fear in that situation, I'm talking about taking accountability. We weren't talking about being fearful, we were talking about taking accountability. I guess you're thinking like accountability, a fear of accountability is what you're referencing. Okay, stop trying to look deeper into it, I wasn't even fucking talking uh, all that seriously about what I said, please. You're saying be a man and take some responsibility for your actions and decisions in life. That's not bad. How about that's not how being a man needs to be defined. Yeah. He made he made some good art. That's all I'm gonna say. Bruh. 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 Accountability isn't related to one Bruh. gender. No one thinks that, dude. Actually, you know what? Fuck it. I decided I think that. Women take no accountability unless it's about shopping because women be shopping. Shut the fuck up. 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 Shut your fucking stupid mouth. Shut your stupid fucking mouth. Nerds. Bruh. And finally, never talk about serious and controversial topics. It steals away from the fun and playful vibe. Never let this happen. Always keep it light and fun. Yeah, this restaurant sounds nice and uh, six o'clock works for me. But I, I just want to ask, are you are you vaccinated? Um, why are you asking me that? That's kind of like private medical information. This private medical information. I mean, I'm immunocompromised, so it's, it's like especially relevant to me, but in your second Tinder photo, you have like a neck tattoo showing. It's a barstool sports neck tattoo. So I'm just assuming that you're not. Oh, why does everything have to be so political these days? You're killing the light and fluffy vibe. Just relax, lady, okay? And I'll see you at six. So we all with any guy they want to. Facts. Guys have sex with who they can. <laughs> I mean, maybe, yeah, uh, true for this homie, I think. If it is literally talking about how insults are just men who have been told be a man, though, and don't have any other sphere that gets sympathy than other than the manosphere, that's why you're fighting fire with fire. Um, yes, as sympathetic as I am to incels, and oftentimes I am, there is a level of fucking uh, inceldom that I don't go beyond. Um, and that is when uh, they are uh, completely fucking blackpilled and refuse to see the world in any way beyond the way that they uh, want to feel comfortable with, which is a, a, a biologically predetermined society where they just cannot ever work against their bioessentialist uh, predetermined destinies. Please stop trying to stunlock me, okay? Please, please, please stop trying to stunlock me. Try to not stunlock the streamer challenge. Impossible difficulty. But in the long run, men are going to marry who they want to. Women are going to marry who they can. Ooh, that's a fucking bar. Oh my God. You could, you could tell he was really struggling to make it all the way through that like metaphor, parable thing. Girls are going to have sex with who they want to. Guys, on the other hand, they're going to have, they're going to have sex with who they get married, who they who they wish, who they can.
works, okay? You can't, you won't, you, and it, it, these guys are what you'd get if you injected Tweedledee and Tweedledum with Polo Ralph Lauren Cologne and Nissan GTR brake fluid. And that's okay, that's okay. It is what it is. Ooh, that's a fucking bar. If the person that's agreeing with your opinion happens to be drinking a gold four loco and wearing a no jumper t-shirt while podcasting, you might want to double check to make sure you're not saying some dumb weirdo shit. Ah. That's like common knowledge in the grown men realm like they call it the red pill right the grown men realm oh my god is that is that what the manosphere is my youtube algorithm after i watch 15 seconds of a jordan peterson room cleaning tutorial i hereby banish you to the grown men realm <laughs> Suffer for eternity. <laughs> the idea being put forth here can just be easily disproved by saying there are plenty of counterexamples to these generalizations. Thank you and good night. Many men are not able to marry who they want to, and many women are. And the same goes with the sex thing, right? But also, the more important question to ask is like, who does this type of thinking actually help? Like, what purpose does it serve, you know? The only real world outcome of this kind of, like, dumb bro science framing. Oh, no, no, sorry. I mean, the, the this reality of the dating market. And what's what's all this red? Seeing how deep the rabbit hole goes into the red pill. Ooh, it's so cool. Oh, so cool. All this does is, like, make dudes vindictive and condescending towards women who are over the age of 30 or whatever. And also making women who, like, are having legitimate struggles in the hookup world just feel like shit about themselves. When you bring that up in front of a female who's... That's the funniest part about it is that, like, <laughs> this is what happens when you have never fucking been around a woman. If you've never been around a woman, your automatic assumption is, as an observer from the other side, oftentimes a very negative opinion you have, right? You, you just assume that they can, like, fuck whoever they want, bro. Like, that's such... Like, I think the last time I thought that was when I was, like, fucking 13. You know what I mean? Like, there was a point in my life when I thought that was real, right? Like, that's something that, like, probably most guys talk to their other fucking fellow uh, guys about. Where they're like, damn, bro, like, chicks, like, they're so lucky, dude. It's like, bro, you're 13. What the fuck do you know about chicks? Um, it's just such a baby-brained way to, to, to operate on the planet. It's just, it's stupid. It's not the case. It's not true. Ladies can fuck Brad Pitt right now if they wanted to. Yeah. It's just, talk to a woman, man. Women have a set of standards, expectations opinions lives dreams that are that are not uh all that different for men ultimately and uh some of those goals revolve around like wanting to fuck someone and and failing to do so it just happens i uh, i don't think that that's i don't think that's like exclusive to men either in her prime or a little bit past her prime they get mad when you bring that up but it's Both true he cuck vibes bro yeah i'm fucking cucked dude so cucked because i said women also get rejected like when i rejected your mom last night boom roasted Ooh, that's a fucking wow this is so useful and helpful thank you so much boys i'm glad you started a podcast the world is better off with that being a thing that exists again with the workout footage intro i love it it's so good so good. They look they look good. I like the idea that this guy isn't actually ripped. He's just sending an extremely urgent or angry text and that's why his arms look like that. Like he's vice gripping his phone. Like a temporary Captain America iMessage effect. I don't I don't know. What are we doing? What are we doing? Get your bread right, G. Work on your physique. Sharpen your mind. That's the most important thing cuz your mind is not in the right place. It's in the wrong God, place. It's too You're too emotional. You care too much. I do care too much. <laughs> it's my toxic trait. <laughs> I'm too loving and too empathetic. I'm an empath. Okay, what can I say? I can't do anything about this. <laughs> I'm empathetic and caring, but like in a hot and sexy villainous kind of way. Like, ooh. <laughs> Shut the fuck up. That's why I made that video two years ago screaming at you niggas talking about you care too much about the bitch. 
God damn it. Okay, so this is what every red pill thing is like, okay? It's like, it starts off with some perfectly generic advice. Go to the gym, get some financial resources so you can live a little more freely, focus on a hobby. And then it ends with some heartbroken goofball biting his lip and telling you to just like dominate your partner and sub make them submit. You care too much about the bitch. Always keep yourself in an emotionally offensive position in your relationships. It's good, just in case. There's nothing wrong with caring about a woman. There's nothing wrong with liking a woman. You just can't care as much more than her. <laughs> With that music, it just makes it so perfect. He's just sad, bro. Someone hurt him. She has to care more than you care. Wow, fuck. It's profound, dude. But just, just a quick question. How do I figure out how much she cares? It's like a scale of one to 10 sort of thing. Should I just ask her and then com compare her number with mine, sort of figure it out from there? Or do I just act like I don't care even if I do so I can make her think I don't? So then she's worried about if I'm gonna leave her and it's like, oh, I got that over you. Ooh. And that way she'll fall in line and comply with my demands due to this manufactured insecurity. Is that I think the reason they think that that is because they're so desperate they fuck any girl that walked up to them so they think women and just get to choose whoever they want. I fell into this rabbit hole at the end of high school. I feel so stupid looking back at myself. Dude, there's... Dude, uh, the people go through this phase. It's fine. It's like you're... You just... It's always easier to swim with the current than against it, okay? So there's a sense of comfort that comes from just finally stopping the, the paddling process and giving in to the wave of misogyny and patriarchal attitudes and you know the overall i don't know just fucking feeling of safety and security that comes from just saying i'm at the whims of i'm at the whims of the system okay that's part of the reason why it's easier to fucking red pill people by just pointing to how society is and being like this is not my completely ridiculous interpretation of how pre-existing constructs work and instead, uh, just a, a deeply uh, hidden secret that I'm giving in, um, that I'm giving to you for free. Well, not for free. If you buy my, uh, you know, self-help guidebook, it'll, it'll help you. Hurt people hurt people, right? And these people are very clearly hurt. And I do think.